Three teens are now behind bars after being found with guns, drugs, and a machine gun conversion device after being pulled over on Indy's northeast side. Police say it's just the latest in a string of incidents involving teens and guns. Fox 59's Jenny Dreisler explains how youth advocates and IMPD are trying to stop this troubling trend. Anytime we have juveniles, machine gun conversion devices, and stolen firearms, it's a bad combination. Friday morning, IMPD stopped three teens near 46th and Shadeland. As officers approached the car, they say they smelled marijuana. Officers then searched the car and found three guns, including one equipped with a machine gun conversion device. Officers also found fentanyl pills, drug paraphernalia, and other narcotics inside the vehicle. It's a growing problem. IMPD is asking everyone to step up and stop. These things don't happen in a bubble. People know that our youth are carrying firearms and they're not doing anything about it. We need our adults, we need our parents to step up. One of the groups already stepping up is Young Men Inc. Reverend Malachi Walker oversees the youth ministry. He says this summer was a difficult one and says one of the biggest problems making the teen violence problem worse is lack of funding for youth advocacy groups like his. But we still need help and one of the uh, great uh, resources that we can have and that's money, I hate to say that, but it takes money because we, I know with Young Men Incorporated every year we have a budget and uh, we never reach our budget. That's even now, right now, we are fighting to get money for our mentoring program. Walker says the easiest thing the community can do to help in the meantime is speak up. And if you know about them carrying guns and drugs and cars, say something. That's doing something. In Indianapolis, Jenny Dreisler, Fox 59 News.